As you can see, here is the uh, gas line connector, the quick connect. Sturdy enough. So the uh, housing is a thick, thick plastic with a decent uh, wall size. Let me show you right now, right away. So as you see, this is the uh, thickness of the wall, which means if you're gonna use the same stuff, you kind of have to recess the connector into the wall. I have used a step bit, fairly big, but before that, prior, I drill, drilled a half inch hole and then went to the hole with the step bit because the actual size is uh, three quarter inch for the uh, nut driver. And even with this and the, uh, and the washer on the other side, let me show you somehow, and the washer on the other side, it's sturdy as hell. All right, so what you're gonna have to do basically is fairly simple. This line originally went to the carburetor right here. I have disconnected from the carburetor. Obviously you have to close the gas tap first. And uh, I installed um, T-splitter. So basically if I want to use the uh, original tank, I can still use it, but I also can hook it up onto the exterior tank. And uh, as long as the cap, the uh, oxygen uh, cap is locked, when you set the uh, pressure with the pump on your gas line, the gas pump, um, gas, um, the fuel pressure, this is gonna be, the uh, tank's gonna get pressurized, but the pressure can't go away. So basically the gas has only one line, is uh, going to the carburetor, right? If you want to use the uh, uh, interior tank, this is a leak proof connector. So the same thing is going to happen. The gas, instead of uh, running from the, uh, from the, uh, the exterior tank, it's going to run basically this way into the carburetor again, right? So basically this is going to be a dead end for the gas. Pretty simple. Um, what other challenges I have been dealing with is, uh, yes, so basically this uh, coupling originally was this long, right? I would say this is about inch and a, inch and a quarter probably. I cut two grooves off because uh, if I wouldn't then the gas line would be too close to the engine and uh, right now as you see there is a little bit of space in between obviously this is gonna this is heats up as uh, you use the motor I believe this is safe enough obviously I'm gonna check before I uh, use it for a long run right I guess it's fairly simple. You're gonna need a couple of uh, clamps. How many? One, two, three. One is still the original. And uh, that's it. Most of this stuff, you can order it from Amazon. I believe uh, I'm gonna uh, put a quick material list to uh, as an additional information, right? So, let me show you once again how does this connect and how freely you can move and drive the boat. Alright, so basically that's it. As you see, the clamp does not touch the motor itself and uh, in any direction you can basically move the motor. 
I'm actually very happy with the results because uh, I was dealing with uh, this area for a couple of days while I could figure it out. I was thinking about relocating this uh, emergency stop button, move it over here. But then I realized over here the uh, wall size is even thicker. So basically I think this is the best location for this solution. Alright, that's it.